Southeast Star, he was heading westbound, and he was not far from the intersection of 212. Just before the point of impact of the first vehicle, the vehicle that was driven by William Amato, who is listening in by phone, the defendant's vehicle was traveling 80 miles an hour. The defendant's vehicle continued across the other oncoming lanes and onto the sidewalk where the victim, Albert Sautel, was drive, riding his bicycle. Uh, that victim was actually bicycling in the same direction, so the defendant struck him from behind, and I believe he never saw what was about to happen to him. Um, the victim's body flew across the parking lot, across the grassy area, and came to rest right up against the fence. We had witnesses who ran to the bicyclist victim, and they heard the defendant, who was still in his vehicle with some injuries, and they heard the defendant on the phone telling a person on the phone that he had just killed somebody, come and get me, I hear sirens. Um, his childhood is as traumatic as one I've ever encountered in doing this work. Uh, and nevertheless, he, he was able to successfully graduate high school even after dropping out after a short period. Mr. Lynn, uh, if you um, would like to um, make a statement, this would be your opportunity, sir. I just want to say how terribly apologetic I am and how sorry that I am for this terrible accident that happened. It wasn't something that I had planned, nor was it something that I ever wanted to happen. Um, my joy in life is helping people, not hurting people, and that's exactly what happened in the time of this accident, was I hurt people. Um, I've never had a criminal record, nor have I really ever planned on having a criminal record. Um, but at the same time, like my lawyer had said, you know, I did struggle with substance abuse and drowning out the pain of my childhood and not knowing how to deal with that. 